Hey, it's Joe Glines. In, uh, in this video, we're going to talk through how to connect to an existing window of Chrome that's already running. So this is very easy in IE, uh, but Chrome and Firefox, it was tough with Selenium, not actually not tough, impossible. Um, I didn't know how to do it. It wasn't available, but um, Templanishi um, gave us a solution here. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty straightforward too, overall. Um, first thing you need to do is make sure all of your existences of Chrome are closed. And of course, I'm actually running Chrome here, so I'm going to have to close this. Um, I have the directions in my cheat sheet, but what you want to do is launch Chrome with with these parameters um, to on the, in the command line. So what I did before I close Chrome here, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go to Properties. I created a different shortcut for Chrome, and I just added it in there, right? I know that's probably small, but I just added the... You need the double quotes, and then I added the dash, remote, debugging, blah, 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 at the port. Um, and put in there. And so when I launch it, it'll, it'll launch it with those command line parameters, right? Um, and then basically here is the script, which I'm going to show you here in a uh, studio. So let me go ahead and close this, switch over to studio. So here's the code. And, and actually I put in the directions here just so they're handy. And this is the, the URL to the, uh, get rid of that, to the, uh, the post. If you want to go look at it, although there's really nothing else there. Um, and I did have to tweak what he offered a little bit when I tried to load it. Um, I couldn't use the syntax he had to get it to load my start page. So I adapted it to mine, but, um, after that, it worked great. So first off in the, in the first example, I'm going to launch Chrome off of my shortcut that has that debugging built into it. So I'm launching it. There it is. All right. Now you can see it. And first thing I'm going to do, actually, you know, let's go to my website here. Um, a little lower on the page i'm like where did it go hey all right here we go so now i'm on my page and notice my domain now when i hit my hot key this is um this is running and i'm gonna hit my hot key and notice this it's running this line here the window title and url so here's my window title um on there and then the url right that is this page so i literally just connected to this um i could go to another page let me let me go to this page I'm going to reload my script and hit it again. And this time it'll pull in that data, right? So I'm connecting to this uh, instance of Chrome, which is awesome. Um, I played around a little, I can hit control T and actually have it launch um, a new window, which still works as, as we'd think. Uh, but the other cool one is, let me go ahead and close this. Now I'm going to hit control shift R. This is going to run Chrome with those parameters. So if I hit control shift R, now this is yet another window and let's say I go, you know what, um, what should I go to? We'll go to this chess thing. Um, and when I hit my hotkey, it will take a long time apparently. Oh, maybe, that shouldn't have anything to do with it. Let me try it again. And so notice it grabbed this instance. So I launched it from my script. Um, or from the, the shortcut, but both of them, I'm, it's interacting, it's grabbing the last one. There's probably a way to, um, you know, we'll figure it out at some point to, to get all of them. And, and, um, if there's more than one to specify the, the title, like you could do with IE and com, but, um, this was a, I know it was a, a do, not a deal breaker, but it was really difficult because one of the beauties of web scraping with, with auto hotkey is as you're in IE and you're on a certain page, you can decide then and there, oh, I want something from this page and I can interactively grab that window and do something with it. Whereas Chrome, you had to basically start up a new browser window every time and then go do stuff, which um, just, it, it negated a lot of the, the good things. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks.